All right, hello, hello, Capricorns. Capricorns, this is your monthly messages for the month of February, 2024. Uh, it is, uh, it's a leap year this year, so we do have 29 days. Um, There's so much exciting stuff. So um, I'm doing this and it is actually like tomorrow is February. So it's the 31st when I'm doing your video. It's the very last one of the series um, that I'm using the last unicorn. So, um, I'm really excited guys. This is, I don't even know if I could share all this. Okay. So there's Sagittarius energies for sure as well. Um, Libra, Taurus, um, Scorpio. So I saw 1205 and 1119 actually. So I have to say I took a little break and I always like to bring that in. So my very last video was Sagittarius. I had some other video, like uh, not a video. I had a uh, another, another some personal readings I needed to do one-on-one. -on -one. And then I had the most, two in a row, the most amazing sunrises, um, which are always just fill me with so much delight and excitement. Um, and... So save the best for last, right? So Capricorn, I had to go do my chores. So don't forget, you know, I was like, oh, this is it. Doing your chores first, cleaning up, doing, you know, the dishes, the daily grind of cleaning your home, doing this stuff. And I left the last unicorn on the world card and the two of cups. So we're just going to see. I will. I mean, we got the butterfly. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to read a little bit out of the last unicorn book. I'm going to pull some charms. And the zodiac signs, oh my gosh, so there's something, <laughs> today was even crazier too. And then, um, so something about running around the mall, you know, going out shopping, doing things like that. Billie Eilish popped in. So there is other music. There is also Tool, um, Pussifer, Numa, um, but today was kind of funny because Uranus, so something with your ass or your anus. <laughs> There's lots of funny stuff with fart jokes and stuff like. There's something going on with your buns, hun. It's like somebody likes the buns. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my god! I saw the meme today. I was like, I don't know what's going on in this, but Mars. So we'll see what comes through with the cards, okay? So literally, so like I said, there's Libra too. I did see 1021 several times, which is kind of interesting because that's even that shift. Um, gosh, I don't even, I, I'm like, I just feel so goofy. This is just goofy. So Uran, the planet of Uranus and the planet of Mars kind of being spotlighted. Um, I don't know. I haven't been paying attention, but it got like pump up the volume, Mars. Um, so, and then literally I was like, I don't even, I, so I share little things that go on, you know, with that, what I see out in the world, what I go out in the world, uh, there's purple hair, like the Scorpios get the purple hair, like the roots or something, the purple, the, the indigo blue. And then, so the interesting thing I realized, so my painting here, I haven't painted for three months, guys, and I'm being so pulled. I need, like, to go do some more paintings. Um, seeing the sunrises and how amazing they were it was really crazy. Um, the name Eric ke keeps coming through so much, so much. And then, you know, like, Eminem um, is Libra, and... Um, I'm trying to think. So there was Sagittarius Libra, like I say, and uh, it, it, there might have been a little Gemini in it too, but some, something about seeing people's asses. I don't even know. It's fresh and clean. So there's this billboard. That's all I'm going to say. It's for Hardee's, which is also Carl's Jr. Um, And there's like some rolls, some hot rolls. And just the, the image of on it looks like they're touching a bum and it said a fresh hot bum or something. <laughs> hot buns I don't know fresh and clean and then the picture of the planet Uranus oh yeah is it a is it a gas planet Uranus is a gas planet <laughs> oh my gosh so it's some funny like stuff about some corny crap about you know I got this thing you know then immediately that song 
Sir makes a lot and my anaconda don't want none unless you got buns, hun. So that's what I'm saying. Okay. Um, I'm gonna get some charms. This is so charming. I feel so goofy. I feel so goofy. It's gonna be lovely. Okay, I got your yogi tea. No way. We get the beautiful golden butterfly. Wow. So I'm putting the golden butterfly right there on the world card. A whole new world, a new beginning. There is, like I said, the soulmates under here. I am gonna shuffle this. Um, and this might have to do so. Like I said, this can also be rising sign, moon sign. So you could also have these other. So be that's Libra, Scorpionic, um, Taurus, and Gemini. Um, Sagittarius energy, you know, whatever. There's the shift, 21 at the shift. So um, this is for the whole month of February as well. So when we shift into that Piscean energy too. Um, so Alice and uh, Alice in Wonderland and down the rabbit hole in that Piscean energy. So look forward to March's video. And then um, if you're getting this in February, after this video, I have something new spotlighted. So a whole new world, right? A whole new chapter, whole new book even. But I'm seeing this as with a soulmate. You know what I mean? Because um, it's this two of cups, seeing, having a whole new adventure. I love it. Like this world has everything they need now. It's like there, it's a completion of that cycle. Okay. When you become part of the universe, the universe becomes part of of you oh man that's what I'm talking about too like this is weird because I'm like whew. It's, it's so like I said with Numa there's lots of tool to um schism so I'm giving you music okay um <laughs> well I always say Pussifer and uh, the mission the Ren mix holder we also got no future in your front end uh Who's that? Eric B. Rakim, maybe. Oh, no, no. DMC. Breed. Something like that. <laughs> okay, okay. So some of you that might be done with cousins or something like that. I don't even know. There's no way you got the little witch charm. Witch, witch. <gasps> witch, witch. And the seashell. I'm going to put this with the Piscean energy over here. With This is Denise Lynn's Sacred Forest, Sacred Kingdom. Oh, pointing that way. That's weird that it flipped. Seashell, no way. And a crazy um, symbol. Check it out. A weave pattern. Ooh, I like this. I'm going to put it over here. Like even working with the universe. So I'm putting this on the Heather uh heather rowan robin's astro codes no way and then we got the glasses on so 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 maybe put your glasses on some of you wear glasses look at the frames i don't know um he's got his little sunglasses on to this little butterfly right here where should i put this hmm the study put your glasses on i'm gonna put it on the crystals and the rocks the stone deck wow so those are your interesting little charms interesting enough okay um whew. like i said this feels so intense guys something feels so intense oh my goodness oh my goodness oh my goodness okay but i before i begin like i said when we shift or maybe you can check this out depending on when you're seeing this video this is for february's month but i'm also opening up the love oracle of eden for the I'm going to say I ended up having a sneak peek with the Sagittarius. It's a little different than I anticipated. I mean, it, there's a lot of angels and beautiful stuff in, in this. So I'm going to uh, do one for each of the signs throughout this month for especially Valentine's Day, you know, 214. I saw 211 being spotlighted as well. So uh, maybe those are important um, shifts, but also the 21st, right? Um, so as I was saying... I See, I'm getting a little scattered because there's so much going on. Um, February 1st, so 2-1 is spotlight as well for you. So that's actually tomorrow from when I'm doing this. Um, it is considered, so the spring, it's like the between 12-21. Um, so that's the solstice. So in the Ire, Ireland, Irish, Celtic, Gaelic, um, also the goddess Br Brigid. Bridget, which I believe is about uh, the fairy portal too. Anyways, I'm just bringing those up. There's so much going on in the uh, universe. <laughs> 
Oh, did I get, I'm gonna get you guys a six instinct too. I almost didn't put those ones in. Trust your instincts, the sixth instincts. Okay, so let's jump into the cards. Let's start with the sixth instinct. I put these away, like I said, I see, wow, look, the ability to perceive future events. Oh my goodness, so you know the weird, the things I was talking about with the buns. <laughs> The buns and um, something about, okay, <laughs> I don't even want to bring, I don't even want to say these things, but um, there was a, there was also a thing like, um, I'm an empath, so please don't be horny around me, okay? <laughs> uh, I can't believe I'm going to put this out there, so those, I, I tell you, things got a little weird, whatever. Let's see. Okay, Texas was spotlighted. Texas, okay, also the truckers and drivers, uh, the border. Oh, something like this. Okay, I also got JR or Junior. I also got uh, uh, Lois. Uh, let's see, something else. Hold on. I'm gonna hold on. Cooper. Hmm. That's a different. That's not what I was. Well, okay. Okay. M and M. Okay. That, I don't know. Okay. Okay. And then you had hard D's. So the D's. Um. D's nuts. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't. You guys are. This is goofy. Miracles. No way. Spiritual gifts to perform acts of supernatural power that are recognized by others to have altered the ordinary course of nature. Um, wow, so look, this even look like, you know, look, this is like Jesus turning the water into wine and stuff right here. Miracles, no way, starseed. Um, so it, it, very interlinked with Sagittarius, interesting enough. Um, wow. <laughs> Scorpionic as well. And the physical impact. Okay, okay. Yeah. I feel like this one came through. Either with the Scorpio or filling other... I brought this up. Okay, you get three. So, something big coming through, right? This first half of the month. Um, this is the shift. We'll get to the tarot. I'm gonna then... Wow, so this is how we starting it out. We got miracles. I told you this is like the fairy portal. Oh, so much Sagittarius coming through, which is so, it, it's beautiful. Um, it really is. And then the start seats are advanced spiritual beings who possess spiritual and scientific knowledge that date back hundreds of thousands of years. Yeah, there's Dan, Danny. Cause I, so Numa, I watched like Danny Carey playing, um, drumming, you know. 33 in Boston. <laughs> Starseeds, Minnesota, Tony. And then I tell you, there's like multiple Eric's. I don't know. I, I got nothing. Oh, I think of Eric. Oh, there's also maybe Earl. Some DMX. X going to give it to you. <laughs> then physical empath. Feeling others. So, Wow. Uh, understanding that even the ability to feel the symptoms of others illness sympathy pains for someone in labor even or even inconsistent energy levels okay um so maybe someone has a lot of gas or flatulence i'm just saying <laughs> flatulence i don't even use that freaking word well let's let's so you got some but look he's like grabbing his his shoulder right there Honestly, I feel really good right now. Yeah. I did, you know, you get your stretches on. I feel really good right now. I'm like, so maybe you're feeling pretty good. So hopefully you're feeling good. Everyone wants to feel good, right? All right, so these glasses. So maybe get your get your glasses to read this. I've got my glasses on. This is the weirdest thing, guys, because I, I wear glasses, but not always. But this always makes me think of, well, now we need to really, we got a little Virgo mode in going on, maybe. We need to inspect, maybe read these cards. So I should, I saw a lot of purples, actually, like I said, but this um, green, I believe this is serpentine. So I'm gonna see, when I shuffled, this is the card I left for the crystals. Ooh. Serpentine, yeah, yeah. Awaken your reptilian nature. Oh. 
Okay, see, this is even pulling in some Scorpio, right? But whatever. A lime, no way. So lime, flavoring, even smelling it, um, that's about transformation too, right? Lime to kale, green stone. Maybe you need some grains. There's some Taurus energy with this too. Um, serpentine activates energy is like a deep exfoliation treatment for the spiritual shell, self. So, whoa, like shedding skin, you know? Kundalini yogis, anyone in need of a fresh start? How I need of a miracle. How I need. Oh my goodness. So, during meditation, hold serpentine in each hand and concentrate on circulating energy from the base of the spine to the crown of the head. When it's time to let go of tired beliefs and get stuck energy unstuck, if serpentine arrives in your life, it's the invitation to rip off all proverbial band-aids and regroup. Hit the sauna, sweat it out, and release all lingering drama. Yeah, dude, I was so amped for reals. Like, I don't even know. I'm like, how much coffee did I have? <laughs> Not that much. Um, but I just was, I don't even know. I was just, like, I totally, I was sweating. So that's another good song for you. Sweat by Tool. Awaken your reptilian nature. And look at that. That's kind of interesting. I don't know what these cards are. And because, you know, as soon as I look underneath. Ooh. <laughs> I can't shuffle them because then I want to know what the next one is. Jet. No way. I haven't seen Jet for a while. I actually know someone named Jet. That was kind of crazy. Maybe you're getting on a jet. The star seeds. Oh my goodness. We got the aliens coming in. The channeling of the aliens. Claim your space. Okay, the other thing, Capricorn. So, I told you, um, this is for me personally, right? But because it says as we're all connected, we are one, we are connected. Uh, <laughs> and especially for empaths or physical beings and trying to help heal other people. I mean, mm, not necessarily heal, but find remedies. This is about physician work, medicine. You know what I mean? A medicine for your soul, your body, um, taking care of your, your earthly form, your spiritual form, your soul, all that. By the way, Tommy wants to eat your soul. And you might be a little, when you, if you do any t research into your ancestry, you might find out, especially if you have a Libra or you're dealing with Libra or Taurus <laughs> or Gemini. Okay, I don't know why I'm telling you that, but um, <laughs> might be kind of scary what you find out about who some of your ancestors are. <clears throat> wow. So a lot, actually, this is so crazy, Capricorn. So a lot of some Scorpio coming through with this as well. So empaths and witchy types right? So we have the physical empath. I even have, you guys got the witch, man. Oh, there's a lot of lovely Capricorns. Um, I mean, there's a lot of lovely Capricorns. Actually, I have some beautiful, that are very artistic, so creative. Um, and there's so much that from, from things that I've learned in my past. So 2021 really spotlighted as well. Um, bringing like wanting to have it come back up count come back around so i've shared this before uh you know the quantum healing hypnosis therapy and dolores cannon and things like that and there was a time when i was like all right this is some crazy shit because <laughs> it's some crazy shit okay and i didn't know i was like anyways I, I've set it aside, but I'm being really called in that some of this stuff to help healing. I got to talk about autoimmune disorder for a second. And I'm not a physician or a doctor. I'm just a human being. I, and searching, seeking, trying, you know, whatever. So keep that in mind. These are my personal thoughts and opinions. And sometimes maybe it's things I've learned, things I've witnessed, um, certain beliefs, whatever. So um, autoimmune, so your immune system is this thing that's supposed to be protecting you from illnesses and sicknesses, right? And keeping you strong in case of um, a foreign thing getting into your system that can cause sickness. Um, so 
If we go into this in a psychological sense of understanding something triggers things like um, RA or rheumatoid or um, what's the word? Lupus, things like whatever. Um, it Something triggers it. it. Extreme stress, diet, exercise, you know. So in my thoughts regarding this, so if a human being psychologically as a child or even in a past life or just in the womb, anything like this, um, our, our family, our parents, the people that we're brought into this world, we are trusting them to take care of us, um, love us, protect us the same way our immune system is for our body when there's something. And if it turns on you, Meaning this something that was supposed to be there to protect you, keep you safe, healthy, people in your life, family, parents, friends, whatever, doctors even, uh, religious figures, um, and they ended up being the ones to do any harm or damage. Do, I, I was thinking something like that could psychologically, and huge traumas and stresses, which... Um, and so healing that psychologically and emotionally, whether you go back and you use maybe just breath and sound, holotropic breath and sound into your own psyche, or you do a quantum healing hypnosis therapy into a past life um, and, and see what needs to be healed and released there. So I'm just feeling really drawn that I've, I've got to, I haven't done this for two years and it's coming back up. I need to refresh um, because the star seeds, uh, the miracles, the things like that, and um, helping people live a happy, healthy, functioning, productive, joyful life, right? I don't even know. I'm rambling now. I just let it flow. All right. So jet here, earthy and grounding. This true black mineraloid variety of cool is an ancient fossilized driftwood. Whoa, driftwood. There was a lot about the petrified wood too, working with that. Uh, Aries, I said, did I bring up Aries? They were definitely with that too. And the um, Tuesday afternoon moody blues being called into the forest. <laughs> so, and past and witchy types. So where to put it, clearing a physical space or your body of uninvited vibes. Swipe jet over the affected area and tell toxic energies, spirits, and tensions to peace out. All right, when asking for guidance from elsewhere, think seance, guided meditation, hardcore tarot session. Jet can take the edge off of high vibe stones like Moldavite and Serpentine. Oh, look at that. And we have Serpentine here. And his wise old friend, to bring as your plus one. Wherever your triggers are, sure to be on the guest list. Okay, that's so crazy. Wow. Wow. And then I'm going to get this one final one. We will peek. Okay, that's a red jasper, it looks like to me, but I want to see this Lemurian. Wow. So we're pulling in Lemurian too. Okay, okay. I'm going to set these crystals off to the side. Underneath there is the lapis lazuli. Ascend to your rightful throne. Uh, yeah, especially some Libra energy. Whew. Escape your mind. All right, yeah, that's what I'm saying, like getting stuck in your mind. So Lemarian is also part of the star seeds. Maybe you feel connected maybe with a Lemarian. Oh, Taurus energy as well as Libra, like I'm saying, maybe it's in your your moon sign or something like that. So, um, but this Piscean energy too, and I was also realizing. So, guys, for me personally, my my uh, South Node is in Pisces, so uh, it's like reconnecting with things from your past. Um, so even people from the past or things we've also already learned, um, you know. And then see what needs to be let go, move on, you know. All right, wow. Star seeds escaping your mind. Anyone in need of a vacation from their thoughts? Lemurian quartz is identifiable by its blushing hue and ladder like horizontal grooves that climb up its face. Its name is a shout out to Lemuria, 
a fabled lost continent whose highly evolved inhabitants, some far out folks, insist now live under Mount Shasta in California. Anyone a native of vacation, right? All right, Lemurian, Lemurians are like wands. Point them at your body parts, friends, and other crystals that need more juice. When to use it whenever someone or something you love needs a zap of healing energy. Awaken your inner wizard or witch and cast a spell with Lemurian quartz. Oh my goodness, guys, I'm so excited. I believe I'm going to... I actually brought one up. Um, not up here, but... <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. I'm not going to get into that. But, um, and my beautiful daughters, um, they are so creative and they make me beautiful things. And my Taurus daughter made me this beautiful, um, flower, but it's a, a fairy, you know? Um, and I just felt, and the, the peacock was there as well. And I just felt guided to set that by it. So really even dealing with maybe that Taurus energy, there, there's a lot of Taurus. So Inner Wizard, the other song that I finished it with, okay, was some Ozzy Osbourne, or excuse me, Black Sabbath and The Wizard. Man, love that harmonica. Pointing it. <laughs> nice. The people who need healing. So I'm going to put Claim Your Space, right? We're going to put Jet here by the Star Seeds. And we're putting this Serpentine by these Miracles. And then the Lemurian one by this Physical Empath even pointing it. So there's a lot about even putting the the rocks on your, on your physical body if you have them. If you feel guided to that. Especially if you are sensitive, okay? So I'm going to take a moment and read. So like I said, I've been reading out of the last unicorn for the month of February for all of the different signs. I started with the Aquariuses um, because the first card is on the last unicorn tarot is the star, uh, which to me is that hope and healing. That's the Aquarius energy. So pulling in with that. Um, Capricorn and Libra and Gemini. Okay. Peter S. Beagle. You're the final one. And here she is. The duality even of her. Yeah, Lady Amalithia and the unicorn, the last unicorn. All right, so I am going to go to the end because we're close to the end. Wow, once the sea had taken back their diamond-shaped footprints. So, wow, going to the ocean. Um, so as we move into that water and that Piscean energy, like I was saying, it was so crazy. I want to share these things because they're exciting when there's beautiful synchronicities where communication hasn't been had. And then when the face-to-face -face communication, there is the same wavelength. So I brought up the Mad Tea Party and Alice in Wonderland, but also the mermaids have been very guided to bring in that watery mermaid energy too um, for, for March's energy. So as we march in there, I see... Okay, ten, 14, Schmendrick, Molly, 268, who do we appreciate? 269, so that's where I opened it, wow. So I'm just going to read a couple little pages and see, I see something like the dark blue eyes losing their color. She can restore him, Schmendrick said softly. A unicorn's horn is proof against death itself. Molly looked closely at him, as she had not done for a long time, and she saw that he had come at last to his power and his beginning. <gasps> oh, the magician, Schmendrick, the wizard even. So interesting enough, there's a little bit of Aquarius and Leo. I'm seeing six, eight, 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 nine. Wow. Father, I had a dream. Rose, diamond-shaped, Molly. Molly remembers unicorns very well. Hmm. The magician. Okay, here we go. I'm going to just start at the beginning. I almost want to say once upon a time. I find it interesting because the lime color even, right? The lime when the coconut and drink it all down. You put the lime in the coconut. What is this? There's golden hair, sunlight. 
Once the sea had taken back their diamond-shaped footprints, there was no sign that there had ever been they had ever been there any more than King Haggard's castle had been. The only difference was that Molly grew remembered unicorns very well. It's good that she went without saying goodbye, she said to herself. I would have been stupid. I'm going to be stupid in a minute anyway, but it really is better like this. Then a warmth moved over her cheek and into her hair like sunlight, and she turned and put her arms around the unicorn's neck. Oh, you stayed, she whispered. You stayed. She was about to be very foolish then and ask, will you stay? But the unicorn slipped gently from her and moved to where Prince Lear lay with his dark blue eyes already losing their color. She stood over him as he had guarded the Lady Amethia. Amalithia. Okay, guys, I'm because this I'm reading this and I understand the players in the tarot, right? Okay, this soulmate here is this this, this Prince Lear and Lady Amethia. Okay, uh, Amalithia, if I pronounce that correct. So Prince Lear in in the tarot is uh, the Temperance energy, the Sagittarius energy. Okay, so there was something really going on with Sagittarius. Okay. Um, and maybe Aquarius um and then we've got that Scorpionic right and then we've got the Gemini energy with this um Molly and so I'm pulling in some Leo Aries or Sagittarius feminine as well right um and then High Priestess so High Priestess could also be this Piscean energy but I'm also getting a lot of Libra Taurus with the High Priestess and then Capricorn as well so you you guys right um, Prince Lear so he is he's been hurt at this point right she can restore him okay Molly looked closely at him as she had not done for a long time and she saw that she had come he had come to his power and his beginning his beginning she could not say how she knew, for no wild glory burned about him and no recognizable omens occurred in his honor. Just at that moment, he was Smendrick the magician as ever, and yet somehow it was for the first time. It was long that it was long that the unicorn stood by Prince Lear before she touched him with her horn. So sometimes the horn, like the selenites, you can get selenite that looks like a unicorn horn, guys. <laughs> Oh my goodness. For all that her quest had ended joyously, there was weariness in the way she held herself and a sadness in her beauty that Molly had never seen. It suddenly seemed to her that the unicorn's sorrow was not for Lur, but for the lost girl who could not be brought back. For the lady Amalithia, who might have lived happily ever after with the prince, the unicorn bowed her head and her horn glanced across Lur's chin as clumsily as a first kiss. He sat up blinking, smiling as something long ago. Father, he said in a quick wondering voice, Father, I had a dream. Then he saw the unicorn and he rose to his feet as the blood on his face began to shine and move again. And he said, I was dead. Wow. So, these near-death experiences as well as um, in a past life regression, you you see you, you that's the thing you you maybe it's about overcoming fear of death as well. I was dead. I remember. H. So the song by Tool. H. The unicorn touched him a second time over the heart, letting her horn rest there for a little space. They were both trembling. Prince Lear put his hands out to her like words. She said, I remember you. I remember. When I was dead, Prince Lear began, but she was away. Not a stone rattled down after her. Not a bush tore out as she sprang up the cliff. She went as lightly as the shadow of a bird. And when she looked back with one cloven foot poised and the sunlight on her sides, with her head and neck absurdly fragile for the burden of the horn, then each of the three below called to her in pain. She turned and vanished. But Molly grew, saw their voices thump home into her like arrows, and even more than she wished the unicorn back. She wished that she had not called. 
Prince Lair said, as soon as I saw her, I knew that I had been dead. It was so the other time when I looked down from my father's tower and saw her. He glanced up and then and threw in his breath. It was the only sound of grief for King Haggard that any living thing had ever made. Was it I, he whispered. The curse said that I would be the one to bring the castle down, but I would never have done it. He was not good to me, but it was only because I was not what he wanted. Is it my doing that he has fallen? Schmendrick replied, if you had not tried to save the unicorn, she would never have turned on the red bull and driven him to the sea. It was the red bull who made the overflow and so set the other unicorns free. It was they who destroyed the castle. Would you have it otherwise knowing this? Wow, that's the tower. Um, and the red bull is also represented as the devil. Okay, 2-7, 271, 9 10. The red bull never fights, Mendrick said. He conquers, but he never fights. It's also the emperor, King Haggard, Ares Taurus, Scorpio, and the fire. No stone of. Wow, okay. Ma Molly was not frightened. He turned to Prince Lear and put a hand on his shoulder. Now you are the king, he said. Wow. He touched Molly as well, said something that was more of a whistle than a word, and the three of them floated up the air like milkweed plumes to the top of the cliff. The magic lifted her as gently as though she were a note of music and it were singing her. She could feel that it was never far from being wild and dangerous, but she was sorry when it set her down. Okay, that is it. Your Majesty, King Lur. This is so the weirdest thing, guys. Okay. <laughs> I watched, I watched, uh, I started watching Succession, anyways. Um, and it was kind of like that. I don't know. Uh, wow. So the main, you know, the, the father guy that's got all the, all of the money, the legacy, and then he has a stroke and is, I don't know. It's quite an interesting thing, but there was something about the butts, <laughs> but what? Okay. Let's see. Wow. I will, um, when we get to the shift, I'm going to pull tarot. I'm going to go to the Oracle now. The Diana Cooper magic of unicorns underneath there. Wow, is the cosmic diamond. Whoa. The 30th even. Spread hope and joy. Illuminate the world. So maybe even noticing this flower is like a little daisy. And this diamonds are so strong. Like in the hardness of them. That's why they're so precious. And they, you know, um, they're, they can, there isn't any, I don't, I'm like, as a rock, they are the, the hardest. They can't be cut. And on the 30th, like I'm saying, was the most amazing, amazing sunrise, guys. Amazing. Amazing. And then I open up to extension lift. No way. The 3-9, maybe on the 9th something. I don't know. 12. The 12. 312 Piscean energy coming through. There's also Gemini and Sagittarius. A lot of Gemini, a lot of communication. Okay, so maybe you have this on your rising sign or there's a lot coming through. This could also be your siblings, neighbors, just in your community, even running around, um, going places. <laughs> All right, so what do the unicorns have for the Capricorns for February during this first beginning? I'm gonna get one for each. The beginning, the middle, and the month going with the flow, the 17th, no way, and 29, 829, the 29th, 2917 Capricorns, and the 8th, go with the flow, relax and trust and accept what's happening. There's miracles. Whoa, and this golden energy, building your light body, star seeds, accelerating your ascension. I told you that you had the golden hair. There's like golden hair. Two nine, the eleven. So maybe this is even then. 
accelerating your extension. Wow, and then underneath, no way, the Law of Grace. Look at the beautiful. So the interesting thing with this Lemurian quartz is it has this beautiful light pink rose color, doesn't it? And the Law of Grace, 4-1. And tuning into the infinite. Wow, 5-7. Five, 7-5, seven. Seven, five, another 12. I will tell you guys, 12-12 or 12-21 was like intense. It was intense for me. Wow, so this is a big change, even. Interesting. Dis be your divine essence and dissolve all in grace. There's a lot of Aquarius and Leo with this, as well as Taurus Libra. Listen to your heart and awaken your psychic abilities. Tune into the infinite. Wow. Maybe even moving into April energy, or there's Aries with that as well. Cancer sign too. Yeah. Okay. One final. Yeah. It's the. Yeah. I'm. It's. I'm. I'm trying. I shuffle again, and it's like, nope. These are the ones. Look for the signs. Even on the eleven, seven, eleven, the thirty-three. I brought up thirty-three. Boston and Denny Carey, and you got the forty-one. Pay attention and expect an answer. There's like this portal. The eleven, eleven, seven, Scorpionic, whatever, seven, five, even. The 11, it could have something to do with online, even seeing something online, um, pictures, uh, other people's pictures, even your own pictures, the Pegasus, um, in the rainbow, the lilies, the dice, rolling the dice. There's this portal. Yeah. Cosmic Sapphire more. No way underneath. Oh my gosh. 1133 guys. What is this about? Three, 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 11. Like. How can I not? Like, okay, I got to get more, apparently. <laughs> These are the Diana Cooper, right? Artwork by Marjolene Cruget. Listening to your heart, 717, 177, 87. Okay, and looking for the signs, 1129. Holy shit, 1111 right there again. 711. A lot of the cancer signs, something about that. Even um, 116, 1129. And then that cosmic sapphire and having pure intentions, three, three, and two. So a lot of the Taurus and Gemini, um, five, six, a lot of Taurus coming through it. I feel like a lot of Taurus going to come through, um, especially uh, it, in the end of February for you and Gemini and Virgo. Act with honor and integrity and speak your truth. Dissolve all oh, the law of grace. Guys, oh, grace is coming through. Okay, here we go. Uh, grace. Wow, I wonder if she's Leo or a, an Aries or a Cancer. Anyways, what I'm saying is um, the beautiful song by Jefferson Airplane, White Rabbit. One pill will make... This is so Piscean to me. And it is about down the rabbit, you know, Lewis Carroll... Is that it? Right. And so look forward to that because for some reason I keep bringing that up. The Mad Tea Party. <laughs> I have some new cards with this. but So Taurus and Leo is kind of spotlighted with you. And then that Gemini Virgo um, energy. Maybe there will be something big going on. But so her name is Grace who wrote that song for Jefferson Airplane. And um, she actually does a lot of beautiful art. I think she lives in Malibu right now. Um, that has to do with the Alice in Wonderland um, movie, you know, or thing. And, dude, you guys, I, I don't even know. So, Alice, I also learned that sometimes with names, it's middle names, um, because maybe a first name is more common or there's a junior, you know what I mean? J-R. Mm. I know. The J's. J-K. Huh. The K's. Five, six. Interesting. I'm really excited. These make me excited. So sapphire, diamonds, intuitive gifts, awakening your psychic abilities during this time. Paying attention, tuning in, right? Paying attention. 
um, something about seagulls. I learned something interesting about seagulls. I listened to 13 Moons, so I'm bringing her up. I think she's a Taurus. Um, and it was, I see the magic wand and the, and the glasses and the swan. So a lot of Taurus, maybe even that's that Divine Empress 333. So I'm bringing up those two uh, channels <laughs> to maybe listen to. But she brought up seagulls, which I was like, okay, seagulls. Oh, maybe the bookstore is popping. But seagulls make me, it's the uh, state bird of Utah. And I think of Finding Nemo and mine, mine, mine. I kind of think they're kind of dumb. I'll be honest. And that they, they circle around uh, garbage places or stinky places. But they have their unique ability is that they can um, drink both salt water and um, fresh water, okay? And they have a special ability, like, in their brain to filter the salt. So filtering water, I don't know. I don't know why I'm bringing that up. I'm just telling you. All right, let's get a mindful message before I jump into the tarot. To yeah, getting focused. So something about the photography even. Oh my goodness. I hope you guys, like, maybe you guys saw it or something. 7-Eleven, no way. All right, also Tim, huh? To attract what I want first, I get clear on what it is I desire. I envision it for a minute or more every day, feeling how it would feel to have this in my life what I would do, how I'd react, and who I'd tell. I picture it all. Through my continual alignment with my desires, they begin to flow into my physical reality in divine timing. Opportunities for growth. Everything is happening for me and my evolution. I'm not a victim of the things that happen. I take ownership of my life and make the best of the challenges along the journey. I see how difficult moments help me to become my best version, and I am thankful for them. And then the final one is even a personal journey, right? I follow what feels right within me without needing validation from others. We are each on our own journey, and mine doesn't need to look like anyone else's. My enjoyment and satisfaction is validation enough. All right, those are what I saw underneath there. Whew. But when we get into the tarot, I am going to give it a good shuffle and see. This is a whole new beginning. Maybe some of you have Sagittarius in here. I mean, Capricorn Sagittarius, your cusp energies, so, or vice versa, even Sagittarius, Capricorn moons. Like, you know, this is for rising sign, moon sign, Capricorns. Oh, <laughs> oh gosh. Funny Nemo just popped in my head. Dance. No way. Okay. So I started out with uh, safe to dance or the safety dance. Men without hats. Uh, as well as AWOL Nation and Knights of Shame. Uh, you know, David Bowie is a Capricorn. So let's throw out some David Bowie. Wait, 108. 108. Yeah, yeah. Um, let's dance. I can move emotions through my body by dancing. Whenever I start to feel built up energy or crankiness, I will play some music and move intuitively. I don't have to look a certain way. Simply move and feel as the stress or heaviness begins to ease out of my body. The other beautiful one is uh, Beastie Boys and Body Moving, Body Moving. I like that song a lot. Wow. So even making a plan to intentions. Look, we got 9, 10, 11 here. <laughs> Today is a fresh start. No matter how my day was yesterday, I can make my t my today whatever I want. So even making your setting your intentions for the day, write them and tape them to your door so you can remember as you leave the house. All right, that's I like it. I like it. A lot of music. I'm sharing a lot of music with you guys. Okay, Capricorns. Here's the final one. Okay, so if someone's rude to you. <laughs> People's reactions or opinions of me are really not about me. 611. 11-6. So Taurus got this as well, but I'm seeing some Scorpio Gemini. You got 33-33, right? And this is 6-6. Six, six. Uh -huh. The 12, a 3. It's communication. And understand that their opinion or reaction are not really about me at all. People tend to project their own insecurities or fears 
onto one another. So when someone speaks unkindly to me, I'll remember they have something going on that has nothing to do with me. And loving space, understanding you cannot learn others' lessons for them. They must get there themselves at their own time. I can simply hold loving space for them as they go through their journey. Wow. And some of this could be your ages even. You know, I'm saying 11. It makes me also, I'm bringing up so many um, tool. Jimmy. Jimmy. Because it says hold your light 11. Um, there's Sagittarius Aries with that, though, too. And like I said, there's a lot of Gemini. Uh, maybe Virgo Taurus. All right, that you're dealing with. All right, here we go. Look at how beautiful. Okay, what are we on time? 5035. The butterfly went over here on the zodiac signs. Heather, maybe. Uh, Robin, I don't know. Um, let me see what else is. The star codes. We'll see. Okay, and then, of course, this last unicorn tarot. Um, originally, it's by Geekify, right? Colorado. Yeah, yeah. And it's changed. So, this they, it's new and improved. I got it when it first came out, and it was in, like, this box you opened, and it was really hard to get out. And, but I... It also came with a signed card from Peter Beagle, and I don't have it in this one, so I was kind of disappointed. So, it's like... Whatever it comes back around, it's like there's still a little bit of it's missing. It's not as, you know, I mean, it's still great. This is new and improved and a much better box. But, man, it's different from when you, it's like the original. You know what I mean? I don't know. Okay, so I'm leaving that there. I'm going to turn it around. We're going to give it a good shuffle. I see. Okay, okay, okay. Seven of Swords in reverse, which is good. So if there was any sneaky bullshit that could have happened, it's all out. So it's up, up, you know, the thoughts, whether there was sneaky lies, deception. This is being sneaky. This is in Schmendrick. So this is even Gemini energy, right, with this. But I'm also seeing, and we've got 721. So is that that I'm seeing? It's having three, maybe even a cancer sign or, but it's, Something, it's being released. Like, there's, they didn't get away with something. This is actually him being sneaky to free her, you know, from some type of cage, oppression. So, this Seven of Swords is actually um, a beautiful one, though. But he had to go steal the key and go release. But this also shows that there's nothing hidden. That, you know, there people don't get away with things... So it, I mean, the same thing. So we think about this card, right? And Smendrick releasing the high priestess <laughs> or the unicorn freeing her from the moon card because, uh, yeah, the Piscean or Cancer feminine. Um, and then we got a Libra, Piscean, Earth sign, Virgo, maybe, Taurus. Capricorn, and then the Gemini energy. Hmm. So even in that, once they woke up, they would see that she was gone. Like they, she got free or something. Okay. So whatever happened with that. Okay. Let's see. So for the Capricorns, what do we have going on for the Capricorns for February, the very beginning? Eight of coins. Uh oh. Okay, Ace of Coins, Temperance. Okay, okay, okay. I'm seeing if you're dealing with somebody, there's worry or about job. Uh, the Sagittarius energies. Um, and money, maybe not being able to work. Maybe someone is even, um, they don't have a job or they don't work. They're unbalanced. They're not being able to focus. So... Maybe there is an offer of going out, having a good time, go dance, a new gift, okay? And we've got the Sagittarius, someone overindulging or doing something maybe. And that's this could also be maybe Scorpionic or, you know, whatever, that Taurus energy. Someone feeling like they've overdone something, they've overindulged. Maybe that's why some people, like if you get some type of crap... Uh, from other people <laughs> in the middle of the month. And maybe they 
there this is heavy emotions this is not feeling very balanced or if you have this moon you're not feeling that way because we've got this eight of coins in reverse which also tells me that um someone either doesn't have a job maybe and that's why you can't learn this for them they've got to this is about work someone isn't doing the work even Hmm. <clears throat> okay. The Empress and the Moon. Oh, wow. The Lovers and the Four of Wands. Hmm. Okay. That's what I'm saying. So this Empress energy, that's that feminine, the wife, the mother. This is the Molly Grew in this. Uh, Empress energy is usually Libra uh, Taurus energy it could be this cancer sign it could be you if you're a feminine and you're the wife the mother you know what I mean she's she's not the maiden anymore right this is an empress energy that even could be mm, I'm not seeing her as like grandmother but you know what I mean taking care of the home the family cooking a beautiful nice stew maybe even offering someone giving someone a gift or a bonus and then um Cooking for someone. I'm seeing like, you know, a little date. Like this is Molly and Schmender going out here with this. Interesting enough. Taking her out. And maybe and maybe it's even staying at home or maybe you're a cook. I feel like some of you, you cook, you work somewhere. Because I also saw like we're open. Get your fat ass in here and eat. <laughs> Sorry. I'm just saying it how I see it. Okay. I'm just kidding. You know what I mean? Like, yes, we're open. It was Tyrone. It was so... Like, I saw the meme. I, I just had to laugh my ass off. The name Mike is always there, too, for some reason, just so you know. Okay. Um, temperance in reverse. This is... This is wanting to stay at home. Maybe someone overindulge, even. Um, staying at home. And looking for the signs. What is this about? Scorpionic, too. But you got the lovers in reverse and the moon in reverse. So, Capricorns! The moon is the Cancer sign as well as that Piscean. And the there is multiple lovers cards in this deck. And I feel like someone shared their true thoughts or emotions. Like, these are releasing emotions. Things aren't a secret regarding uh, this lover energy. This, um, this lover right here, okay is a little, you know, so Schmender here is trying to manifest and his backfired his there's like illusion. Look at all the mushrooms and the Piscean stuff like out there hugging a tree. <laughs> but he's tied to it. So it's a smother lover. So this is letting go of someone. Someone's not doing the work, maybe. You know what I mean? Or maybe they can't work. Um and and I think that's a thing like you can't learn their lessons for them either. So if some of you are dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer, Gemini, releasing these emotions of physical empath, Lemurian. Very interesting. I'm going to get a clarifier on all of these. Uh, yeah, the tower, right? So the tower was definitely spoken about. So this is after the tower. So the tower's already happened. It's a new beginning. Um, but I'm seeing something like when we hit that Piscean energy, it's these these emotions are gonna be, they're not gonna be hidden. They'll be very seen. Maybe they'll ooh, I I mean about someone not wanting to feel smothered. Uh it's coming out of an illusion, which is interesting about a lover. Three of Cups, a party. Look at this, a celebration. So we're having a party. There was a tower in reverse. King of Cups is upright, though. So very scorpionic, masculine for some of you. Um, and I'm calling that as because the tower is in reverse here. So I'm also seeing it as someone. So this knowing how to like actually being in control of this tower and um intuitively trusting how to fix this so it doesn't all crumble and that's even you know a celebration a get together everybody enjoying themselves 
at your home. King of Wands is in reverse, though. Oh, gosh. I told you. What is going on? With this uh, Leo Aries or Sagittarius masculine, that's the bull too. There's some Taurus or Capricorn with that. Okay, masculine. They want to fight the Mars. I'm telling you, the Mars, it's either, you know what I mean? Someone's stuck in their head. Okay, so, oh man, oh man. What is this? Okay, okay. You see what I'm saying? Like, this is angry. And the reason I'm saying it is because there's competition, there's fighting, there's bitterness here. Someone, this is even emotional manipulation type thing, but you know what I mean? Feeling like you got to compete and fight. Oh, so, so look, he's stuck in his head here, trying to make a decision. Okay, I'm just setting this down. I looked at underneath and that's what's really going on underneath it. Someone's pissed about something. Oh, we got this water sign, chill water masculine and the prince lear right we talked about prince he's like taking over for king hagrid um and this could also be libra energy i'm gonna say because um he comes up with justice and look he's trying to trust his intuition and not listen to anybody else's bullshit and um wow because they're there's fighting and competing whoa this magician oh reverse interesting interesting this is uh, that this is the wizard energy feeling like they don't have what they need to create um they don't have what they want they have ill intention even wanting to take from others you know or create chaos gemini energy They're, they're trying to free themselves they're, from feeling stuck in their head, though. Eight of Swords and juggling eight, too. Let me look underneath. Juggling uh, an Aquarius, even, or juggling finance. They're looking for hope and healing, right? During the season, the Aquarius energy, it, they feel this heavy burden. Maybe even an Aquarius does. Oh. I'm seeing like this decision being made at the new moon. I think this is 2-9 maybe, 2-5. I can't remember when the new moon is for February. I'm also seeing 4 o'clock, 10-4. <laughs> no way, and, and movement, taking action. Wow. So someone's doing, something feels like a very heavy burden. All Look at all these unicorns on his mind. Oh, that's so many. He's burdened by these, uh, what he's trying to control and contain and hold. And then you got Cr Prince Lear, like taking action, coming in. Queen of Cups, Queen and King of Cups, both chill, both chill. I'm seeing like trusting, meditating, enjoying life. Controlling emotions, anger even, sadness, overindulge, anything. So Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I'm seeing a lot of the good energy for the Cancer feminine especially. Um, she's chill. Even understanding a karmic will of what comes up must come down. Oh, uh, yeah. And we got the devil. Some will of fortune in reverse. Something trying to be controlled. Controlling fear. Someone doesn't, oh, we got Ace of Swords and Ace of Cups in reverse. Someone doesn't have clarity um, about, I'm feeling like someone hasn't spoken the honest truth regarding um, uh, love. Like, that. someone, there's no love. They haven't been honest. They don't, and we got King of Coins in reverse. So that's Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Masculine. I, I feel like he's trying to come out of feeling, so you're dealing with a masculine Okay, or this could be you, whatever. There's a other Taurus, right? Um, he's, uh, it, there is a sense of a lack of financial backing. And so that's trying to, uh, I mean, I see five of coins in reverse. So it's trying to manifest more finances to create something and not wanting to be foolish with this and be wise Having the strength, not taking action.
Queen of Queens is upright though. Handling things. High Priestess, intuitively. Look at that, even. Queen of Queens and High Priestess right there. Oh, look. You know, she thinks she's alone. She's like the last unicorn, right? And then look, she intuitively is like, I'm not the last. This is also keeping things to yourself. But she's she's very like this. She still understands emotions. Um, Look in the eyes. The emperor. Someone intuitively knows something about the boss. Or that emperor. So Aries Taurus. Um, and, oh, and it's already going to be known if there was sneaky lies or deception because Emperor in reverse. Oh, 7-7. Seven, seven. Oh, yeah. It, they can't block it. They can't defend. Whatever is found out, they cannot defend it. Oh, even like maybe releasing or letting someone go because they, they flew the cope. You got Virgo here too. Feminine Virgo, possibly. Okay, that was quite the story. That's quite the story. That's what I'm seeing right here with this set. With this set. So I'm going to set this off to the side. I hope you have enjoyed. This was fun. I am going to be putting this deck away, uh, like I said, um, for a while, for a little bit, till I feel guided to bring it, bring it back in. It was just for my February. And like I said, Alice in Wonderland and uh, all of those fun ones and mermaids coming in for March's energy. So all this water energy. So like I said, I want to look underneath this King of Cups and see, wow, look at that. King of Cups feels so good. There's like, look, the financial, they're very strong and very solid. Um, This is about legacy. Look, even like, you know, he's taking over for this even business or property, whatever. Ten of Coins is the highest you get. And then after that, you start investing in new. You can have multiple ten of coins, multiple properties, land. King of Swords upright, too. Okay, I do like this. Speaking honestly, truthfully, slaying the dragon. It might be a little cutting, a little detached. Whoa, a lot of Gemini with this. There's lover energy. And this is even like, spit it out. Just say it. Wow. King of Cups right here. So whether this this could be you or you're dealing with, right? Um, that cancer sign popped in really strongly. Scorpio did as well. Um, I don't see it as Piscean, I'll be honest. It's not, I'm not sensing this as Piscean. So even there's a party or a get together, maybe. Maybe even um, a new home, business. Look, they're like traveling. This is enjoying life. Um, family. The three of cups is there, right? And we have king of swords. Maybe someone's going to tell someone the truth. I told you they're two lovers. Two lovers. Uh, and slaying this dragon. like, And I'm even seeing this as like a smother lover or illusion. A little Piscean, like I'm saying, down the rabbit hole. The mushrooms psychedelics on and this is clarity and that this isn't love this is an illusion this is addictions you know um the moon in reverse is these true emotions oh my goodness <gasps> so you get the lover card both at the end three of coins someone you can work with that you work really well with he's writing a letter there Sharing a true emotions in a letter. Wow. And it, for some of you, it's totally a Gemini, um, but doesn't have to be. Um, this is just speaking truthfully and honestly. Because you also have Prince Lear here. So someone you can really work with, collaborate. Maybe it's someone you do work with already. Four of coins, three, four. A lot of the money right here. A lot of the money. 3, 4, 3, 10. Maybe it is Pisces for some of you, okay? I will take that back. I will take that back. I do see some Pisces there, okay? Someone holding on to something. Oh, now there's Scorpio. So even regarding your legacy, your business, you, you could have someone that is trying to hold it to get, you know, there's a lot of earth energy. That's you even. Um, 
10 4 104 3 3 coming through again but maybe it's even a get together or a party and uh, a business party whatever it's it's having a huge legacy but someone's holding on to this holding on to this business opportunity holding the money the coins maybe it has to do with death benefits i'm just telling you something like that something's transforming this communication when you speak honestly because we also had speaking your truth like you know what i mean uh don't be afraid and the cosmic sapphire this is what's going to transform no way and then you got the three again the death 313 So this is a huge transformation, huge transformation um, that you maybe been waiting for. So this is also waiting patiently for this right timing for this wish fulfillment. Three, nine. Whoa. So I don't know, Capricorns, but Piscean energy is going to be really beautiful. I'm just seeing there's so many threes. We got three, four, <laughs> three, three again. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, what is that? Is that three, four, five, nine, three? Maybe there is some Virgo three, nine. Cause you look nine of cups. We also have the death card again here. So that water energy, it's empty though. You see his bottle's empty, <laughs> but this is, can be overindulging. It's waiting for this timing. Three, nine, nine, three coming through a lot. I tell with 12, 12. So, someone's getting their wishes fulfilled. You know? Um, maybe there is some overindulging. And maybe this is, and messes with sleeping. You know, that could create some anxiety regarding your finance. I'm seeing the sleepless nights is regarding someone holding money, having the money, or even uh, maybe there is, you know what I mean? Like, um, the scorpionic energy is about preparing and pr protecting your legacy other people's money you know wills inheritance and this communication no way eight of wands is coming in i'm seeing it at the end of the month a huge transformation things being the wands even pointing the wands again eight three let's see 13 8 13 4 8 yeah it's very it's going to be very transformative and it's going to help bring someone out of feeling a, a sense of uh, regret or depression. Even a, a child. Um, feeling, I'm seeing this as feeling depression uh, regarding even not having financial stuff, you know, or not having enough. Feeling very heartbroken that they can't provide or give input or something to help maybe even receiving money to help with someone's heartbreak well three two two three two two the soulmates there again kind of at a crossroads waiting for the right opportunity look look though she's emotionally walking away because something there might have been some really rude cutting words and information that was gossip or slanderish it wasn't fair it wasn't right it was someone was in an illusion looking at their options of how to heal or rest. Um, even trying to be understanding and compassionate. Going going in, you know, trying to detach from others and this this hermit, this Virgo energy even. Wanting to be um, financially stable, single, a Virgo, yeah. Um, and receiving, uh, what you, if this is reap what you've sown, but I'm seeing someone not having clarity or they're not happy with their investments, with their returns. They're not happy. It's actually making them feel a lot of regret, um, and apathy or boredom, very unapologetic. And they haven't things they're, they're very, they feel very trapped and wounded in there head chiron energy things have not changed with that they don't see a whole new world they feel they feel conflicted in their head communicating they want to move forward five six six five look how beautiful see 
Uh, I just want to show you these. I'm seeing this new moon again, right? But five and then six. So he intuitively, he knows that she's a unicorn and he doesn't, it, right? And that, and she's like, I got to move forward, move on. She's moving forward towards Queen of Wands. Um, feminine, it's, you know, this is Molly. She's also a cook too, right? And she's, um, she's standing in power, very confident, very beautiful, very natural beauty. Um, and very open for giving for a second chance. I'm seeing judgment as a second chance giving someone a second chance she was even saying you know the giving smendrick a second chance like she's very understanding even though he's novice at what he does and like now he's like standing in his power and doing that oh and very committed to what he's doing taurus energy too wow because someone is very committed to something and realized something else was over. Because we've got Ten of Swords here, too. And this is that ending of feeling very betrayed. And I'm just going to bring it up because also Page of Swords. So there's gossip. Someone's stalking, spying, slanderous gossip. This is what all this is. Knight of Wands. Um, someone being very immature. Player energy. Gossiping. Talking shit being a player and someone wants things to be fair and upright and just there's bad memories yeah and those might be things from childhood whatever uh just the past energy of someone being that way huh and that's why things are over with that okay oh my goodness 116 uh, I was not anticipating to take it that long, but I am going to jump through these. We're going to go to the sacred forest. This is especially for that Piscean energy, right? There was the seashell. There is an empty pearl here. You see? Interesting. Maybe the pearl is gone. And then you got the little witch. All right. I'm going to split it. Wow. Generosity. Even giving. Maybe you gave something. Someone gave. The fives. No way. So you got the five fives. Eight three. Two, three, maybe the 23rd um, is being very generous and being very giving. Wow, wow, be spirit, prosperity and generosity. Holy crap. 523, 555. Five, five. Whoa, guys, whoa. Do you see the shift of the change? Um, <laughs> wow. I actually saw a bee. It was so nice. It was so lovely outside, like I'm saying. Before the end of January, like, um, right before I'm starting this, I saw it, like, it, it, I'm in January. It's weird. February. The B, the prosperity. B. This is even about changing your creativity. Maybe 523, maybe Gemini, but 55, even 23. And then being giving. Wow. Okay, those are beautiful. So I'm just going to flow a, f a few through. Okay, Capricorns, because I need to finish this one up. Oh, wow, it's, I'm, a, I think I'm saying this is exciting, okay? Nine, nine. Oh my gosh, nine of cups, nine of swords. I just, and we got the three of cups. So you see the change um, in the energy, okay, of the month. Wild Rose Fairy coming through, 4-7. That's the 11 again. Wild Rose Fairy, love. This is also wish fulfillment. And there's a lot of Scorpionic, right? And a get-together, a party even. Um, trust, Crystal Cave. The Trust. 3993. Mm. More 12s. 11-12. Okay, the star seed stuff. Maybe even receiving some of this information is giving you there's fear, anxiety, worry. See, King Hagrid is now the one up waiting for this communication. Um, kind of having anxiety, sleepless nights. This could even be you know he represents the emperor. Um, the emperor, the 
it could be even hierarchy or, uh, you know, grandfather, or, you know, the, the main patriarch. How about that? Or whatever, the main boss of the business, the family, the family business. Okay, no way. Now we got the ancient oak spirit strength. Two, number two. Two nine, I told you. So two nine, nine two. Wow, Virgos. And then the dragonfly, 212. Okay, guys, I love seeing this. So, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So, we got 4, 7. So, maybe Aries. I'm also seeing Cancer, Libra. Well, um, I'm also seeing a lot of Virgo, Taurus. And then this Aquarius energy shifting this ancient oak spirit, the strength. And then this transformation. Piscean when we hit this. 8, 12 even. 2, 3. Interesting. 2, 3. I don't know. If this is an Aquarius or it's the 23rd. That's all I... Oh, man. No way. And then the flexibility. The willow spirit. 48. Wow. So this is very interesting. 11, 12. And 4, 8. The 12s, 12, 12. Oh my gosh. Because I look at this, right? We got dragonfly and then we got the willow spirit and being flexible. Being able to change all directions. Dragonfly spirit can move all around, upside down. <laughs> um, and how beautiful. So we start with the 47 and then the final card is that the one right and flow with it. But in between... We've got this about what you value, a lot of Taurus energy. There's Aquarius as well. Then we've got the Piscean energy. Two, three. Wow. 23, 2, 12. There is also, like I said, the Cancer Scorpio and um, Libra Aries. Oof. Wow. I hope that, you know, you guys are intuitive. You understand, right? So let's finish it up really quickly just to see what is this. Wow. This beautiful weave weaving pattern huh okay i'm gonna split the deck okay a square a quincunx five four maybe there's tension even maybe dealing with a child or a taurus a leo libra i don't know why i said libra but no um nine yeah that is a lot of a taurus or leo cancer sign Ah, oh, retrograde. So there's some retrograde stuff. 915, 96, 15. Things in review. Looking back at certain things and seeing how um when there's this square in your energy, quincunx or semi-square, it's this it's it's tension, uh, right? In this planets. Hmm. Okay, and that's just what, what, what I open it up to. I'm going to see what flows out. All right, thank you all so much, especially if you're sticking around, listening all the way through. And like I was saying, um, wow. Whew. Um, look forward to these the Love Oracle of Eden for February. And then what's coming up in March of the, uh, the Alice in Wonderland and the Mad Tea Party. All right, for the Capricorn, it's the sun sign. So maybe very specifically about your sun sign, Capricorn 108, dude, or what are the 18th even, 218. The source, whoa. So I'm also seeing something you could have. Um, Taurus, yeah, there's Virgo with this too, and Scorpio, all these different sun signs, even though this is Capricorn, right? And in opposition, okay, you see Scorpio and Taurus. Uh, I also see Leo, Aquarius, like I was bringing up, 818, guys, 89. So that's where this has been, this opposition. Hmm, with your sun. <laughs> you take it how it resonates. The opposition is the cancer sign for the sun sign Capricorns, right? But an opposition with the sun is so, Okay? So we had something heavy, you know, in the beginning, right? confrontation whoa capricorn yeah achieving things Nine ten. so a lot about that a lot of virgo too 10 18 10 12 let's see 9 12 interesting 8 9 9 10 no way so 8 9 10 
and then 12. So we kind of skipped the 11. So this is about your career, you know, and uh, I mean, that's what you represent. Work, career, structure, guidance, um, how you're seeing the world. Your son is, is also about your ego, right? Um, mm. Whoa, Leo, 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 spotlighted. Okay, shine, third house, communication. Rawr. Okay, Leo. All right, let's see this. And the transits, the climate. So even understanding the trans. Look at that. Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? Okay, Capricorns, I don't even know, but the end of this month of February, all these huge changes. 910 coming through again. 1010. A lot of five. Five five five. Five three. We also have one three. Capricorns. Wow. So maybe there was a confrontation with someone. There could be an ego thing with this, right? Or even with your own children. Communication. So this is also the Gemini energy, the third house. Leo and Gemini. But shining, this is about focused on self and wanting to also be center of attention sometimes. We got the eight five. I got the eight eights, eight eighteen. So some of you definitely dealing with different Leos. And then we've got this communication even. <laughs> the Gemini energy and then the descendant. Oh, and that's what I was kind of talking about. Like, an, so if you know your birth chart, maybe let's see the 10, I see a 10. So some of you could have a cancer rising sign and Capricorn actually being your descendant. I'm also seeing Aries rising or Sagittarius rising. Um, Pisces, no, Pisces could be your ascendant. 10, 10, guys. What is this? Five, 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 five. Oh, you see? Five, 41, five, five, seven, eight, nine, 10. So 10, 10, one, one. And then that tension, that nine. So that's what we started with. And there's maybe there is a semi square. So your descendant sign is where your partnership is. This is Libra energy. Um, if we're just going off the regular, you know, it's your seventh house. So it depends on where your rising sign is. So maybe some of you are a Leo rising and Aquarius is, you know, I, I'm just going to say what I see, but there's so much change happening. Ten, nine. Uh, whoa. An invitation even. Someone's waiting maybe for this timing. Oh my gosh. Ten. Whew. Ten. Wow. Um, the descendant sign. This is um people you work with, you know, partnerships. But these can also be people known enemies, like you that you know you just can't. And it, I'm the I'm gonna bring that up because I see a square, um, and there being tension between the communication. This is an opposition, you know, like his mouth is open. There is beautiful communication right here in your neighborhood, siblings, neighbors, the three threes, la da do do, helping to this tower, you know, keeping everything together, scorpionic, nine three. Wow. Okay, that is what I, oh, this one. No way, a lot of communication, man, man, woman, whatever, Mercury in the messages, 920. I can't believe this. Like the synchronicities are off the freaking charts here with this. Big changes with your communication. This also has the uh the catechus here, you know, and you got the snake and you got the wings. So this is interesting. It's very scorpionic. Maybe the 20th, something's very coming in for you. Wow. Okay, uh wow, wow, wow. I don't even maybe see where Mercury is, right? I don't even know where Mercury is right now. <laughs> Sagittarius. Maybe that's what it is. It's in Sagittarius. I don't know. This is higher learning, right? Expanding your knowledge, wisdom, guidance, you know, learning more about uh, other cultures, college level stuff. Sagittarius. Wow. Maybe that's very specific. 920. You guys see 920 again. So that's the Virgo, right? Wow, very, very interesting Capricorns. I hope you have um, enjoyed this. I hope this helps you understand whatever is going on in your life during this time. If you're having any tension with people or your communication. But I mean, I'm just saying it was, it's going to be good. It's great. 
just be truthful, honest, loving, compassionate, and keep yourself in check, right? All right, thanks so much, Capricorns. Bye-bye.